Welcome back to another content review on the channel. We of course have Bamford, we have a hero player pick, and we have a really cool and engaging objective that I want to run you through that you're going to want to complete at least some areas of, and three new uh, footballers that have been added to Viva 23. So we have a lot to get through today. I'm Slater. Let's dive into today's content. So first and foremost, we've seen this player pick a lot. What I will say is I think everyone would agree where are the foot fantasy heroes? Kind of like with that icon pack. It's been the same icon pack for a while. Um, I would love teaming the your icons at some point in the game. I know they're way too OP. I think that's an EA. Don't want anyone to have a chance of getting those cards. And I would love a foot fantasy hero and a player pick at this point. I'd pay more, obviously, to give that opportunity. 84, 85, 86. It's still pretty cheap. It's still very fair. You have a ton of means to grind the game right now with the 82 by 20, the 83 doubles, the 75 by fives. So if you want to get this pack, it's very, very attainable to do so. Um, and I think it's still a good value, but I really wish we had foot fantasy hero players. And we have Patrick Bamford, whose card, this card is irrelevant. Um, this is just fodder for you to get originally. Um, he's an A2 rated team with a team of the week, which once again, very reasonable. I will say team of the weeks are being used a lot in those new party back SBCs that are out. So team of the weeks are gonna become very scarce in the market over the course of the week. So that could become pricier than it really needs to be. But what I will say is it's a great looking card. This Bamford has 99 uh, dribbling. If you score in four separate matches with footballers, Patrick Bamford, you get the card. And to go show you how good this Bamford is, Based on his the boost, he got a way bigger boost than Luis Diaz. He has three more pace, three more shooting, four more passing, 11 more dribbling on this card, and literally max 99. Now, granted, his base card's three-star, three-star. This one's four-star, three-star. Would love if he was four-star, four-star, right? Would make that card so much uh, more valuable. But nonetheless, looks like a great striker just based on the dribbling stats alone. In my opinion, they don't have chem styles up right now. Eighth short passing and ace vision is good enough for a striker. You want to boost his attacking stats, I would put like a hawk on him. Um, if I were you to get his shooting power, finishing, positioning, and all those things boosted in the game. For Twitter, let's go jump back over here. We have a brand new play to ball, Dar Darn and Juma. So for Twitter, we're going to end the video now because I don't have the time, but for YouTube, we're going to keep going. So Twitter, if you want, jump over to the YouTube channel to get the rest of the review. Here's Dan Juma. And this, this is actually a really good content in here. I don't know if it's worth to grind all the way to Dan Juma. We're going to dive through his card too. We also have a brand new footballers in, hold on, Behebri and Magidi. Okay, so there's three new footballers that have been in the game. We'll dive into every one of these cards. There's a lot of the game that's very grindable in a good way. So if you play any game, you play one game of FIFA, you get a draft token, right? And then you use that draft token to get yourself, if you can get up to four matches played, which is great. And if you can get into eight matches played with another, you know, maybe you're submitting another draft uh, with some coins. And if you win a couple of games, you unlock an 81 by 11, some packs back too, right? So very, very good from that perspective. If you're playing draft or you're someone who's already playing draft, which by the way, draft should be very valuable right now because A2s, A3s, 84s are skyrocketing in price because people need them for all those party bag SBCs for the hero pick for I stuff like that. It's a great time to play draft. It's very, very uh, likely if you're good enough to get like a three win or four or win the entire draft that even if you don't get a walkout, you could potentially make your coins back in the game right now. And then coinciding with that, you have more packs, right? So this is all very, very good and positive content from EA to give back to people that are grinding the game. Then outside of that, if you just play squad battles and uh, or rivals and you get additional rewards too. Now, granted, if you want to do that part of the game, I would tell you that it's advantageous for you to start already grinding these cards before you grind these objectives. So for the Behebri card, it is use three Saudi League players in your team. And then for Magidi to unlock him, it's having three Irish players in your team. So it would really make sense for you if you're willing to do it, which I'm not a big fan of grinding squad battles. Like I probably won't do these cards, but for you, if you want to grind these cards, I would probably go ahead, take a team with three Saudi League players, three Irish players, and then do six squad battle games and unlock these two cards. And then once that's done, and this is why I'm saying I don't know if it's worth it to grind Dan Juma, because Dan Juma, we'll, we'll dive into the card here in a second, you would then need to play a game, uh, four more squad battles, most likely, unless you want to do rivals. I don't know what you're like. But you have to score with Magidi, I'm sorry, assist with Magidi and score with uh, Behebri in four consecutive or four straight games, right? Four different games. So for you, you might say, that's a lot of squad battles. And to me, that's a lot of squad battles. So for I, I personally will not be completing these these particular cards, but that is the grind that you'd want to do. You also get a Super Loans team pack, which I have no idea what the hell that even means. And then this Dan Juma. So let's go dive into our not Dan Juma. By the way, if you've stayed this long in the video, hit that like button. Sub if you're new. I think we're like 14 subs away from 900 um, on the YouTube channel, which is like awesome. So thanks so much for the content. I'm sorry. The support lately, it's been great. Uh, I really do appreciate it. So let's go dive into these cards, right? We have Aiden McGeady. 
who we love, five star, four star, right? Left wing card, left mid card as well. He's got wonderful dribbling stats. Um, his passing and shooting are low. Uh, considering the fact that he's got nice little pace splits. I think this screams for a dead eye, 99 shot power, good, really good passing stats now, and way better attacking uh, positioning and finishing. And I would also do the exact same for this Behebri card. He's four star, five star, 92 dribbling on the base here as well. Good enough pace splits, in my opinion. And then I would use a dead eye on him too, because you'd want to go ahead and basically boost the exact same things. His shooting and passing stats are relatively low for the card at this point in the game. And that gives that a much more versatile uh, card. So I do a dead eye for both them. And then here's Dan Juma. And this is why I don't think it's worth grinding because I think a lot of cards like Dan Juma already exist in the game. Granted, if you're a Spurs fan or something like that, maybe this is a card you really want in the game. He can play striker, left wing, and left mid. Um, he doesn't have that big of a boost, in my opinion, on a card that we got a tremendously long time ago. I don't know if you guys remember this moments Dan Juma came out in the game a very long time ago. And I didn't even think it was that good. He dropped, and I thought it was a great value SPC, and then I used him a bunch, and I did not like the card. He only gets one pace, two more shooting and passing, four more dribbling, two more defending, and four more physical. And this card, I want to say, I don't know if they do um, dates anymore in FIFA. Maybe they don't. They do. It was released on October 8th, 2022. And now you have a card all the way seven months later, right? Is that, is that how time works? Five months later, my God. <laughs> Five months later. That is not really that boosted. He doesn't get like five star, five star, anything like that, which make the card significantly more valuable. So to me, I don't think this card is worth grinding. I don't think even those last, you know, Magidi's cool and Behebri's cool. Like those are really fun, especially if you're like a Saudi League fan or you're Irish. Um, but I don't really think that these cards are that worth grinding. I would grind the draft, like the draft um, packs and the rival stuff you'll just do organically and the rest I would just kind of leave to be. But if you want these cards, you can get them. They are very attainable and very grindable as well. And on this card, I'd put a hawk on him, I think, personally. Um, his passing stats are pretty decent. His shooting stats are pretty decent. You can get that pace and shooting boost alongside the strength boost. Or if you wanted to, which I actually like a lot for this card, um, would be a maestro as well, potentially getting the shot power, passing stats in that. Or if you want to keep it pretty straightforward and you want to use him as a striker, just put a hunter on him. Call it a day. Great pace splits, great shooting stats, really nice well-rounded dribbling stats at the uh for the most part so there's your content for today if you enjoyed the video guys hit that like button sub if you're new to the youtube channel we'll catch you for another video tomorrow we're reviewing all the footballers content every single day of the week and we review the content every day in fifa so if you need a second opinion i'm happy to be that for you too peace